Hello and welcome back to SciTie Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an LED dimmer and a DC motor controller with using an Arduino Uno, potentiometer, and a 2N2222 transistor. Let's get started. And these are the items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is some jumper cables, an Arduino Uno, some alligator clips, a breadboard, an LED, a PC cooling fan, a 2N2222 transistor, a 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and a 1 mega ohm potentiometer. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, we're going to start with the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take the 1 mega ohm potentiometer and place it over here at the corner, just like this. Next, you're going to need the 2N2222 transistor. Put it into place just like this. Next, you need to place a 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and this side's a negative, and the negative pin goes to the collector of the 2N22 transistor. There we go, negative on the collector. Connect a positive jumper cable and connect it to the positive of the capacitor and place it onto the positive rail of the breadboard. Next, take a negative jumper cable and connect it to one of the pins of the potentiometer. I choose the right side and connect it to the negative rail. Take a positive jumper cable and place it on the opposite side of the potentiometer and connect it to the positive rail. Next, take another jumper wire, which will represent the signal wire, and connect it to the center pin of the potentiometer. From the center pin of the potentiometer, we'll connect to analog zero in your Arduino. And there you have it, the center pin of the potentiometer is now connected to the analog zero of the Arduino, and it should look just like this. Next, take another jump wire and connect it to the base of the transistor, and connect that to pin three of the Arduino, which is the PMW signal on the Arduino. There we go, the base is now connected to pin three. Next, take another jumper wire and connect it to the 5 volts of the Arduino and connect that to the positive rail of the breadboard, just like that. And then take another jumper wire, connect ground of the Arduino, and connect that to the negative rail of the breadboard. Next, take another jumper wire and connect it to the emitter of the transistor and connect that to the negative of the breadboard. There we go, emitter is now grounded. Next, I want to take another jumper wire connect the negative of the capacitor and the collector of transistor. I want to connect to my LED, to the cathode of the LED. Take a jumper wire, connect to cathode of LED, and then connect to this wire that's connected to the collector of the transistor, and just connect the anode directly to the positive rail of the perf board, just like that. Turn up the lab bench power supply up to 5 volts and connect the jumper cables from the lab bench power supply to the positive and negative rail of the breadboard. That way it'll power the circuit and the Arduino. And there, the LED turns on. Next, let's turn the knob on the potentiometer to dim the LED. And there we go, the LED is getting brighter and brighter, and now it's getting dimmer and dimmer. Bright, and dim. There, it works very well. Take the LED off, bring in the fan, connect the negative.
Now let's do a little bit of a bonus. Let's have a listen to what the PMW signal sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and take the speaker, connect the positive to positive, and the negative to negative. And there you have it. Now you know how to control the brightness of an LED, the speed of a fan, and hear what a PMW signal sounds like through a speaker. All using an Arduino Uno, a potentiometer, a 2N2222 transistor, and a 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.